Okay, I'm back and now I'm making a cheese ring. I'm going to mold it in this uh, cheese mold. So I'll spray this good with uh, cooking spray so that it won't stick. And, uh, but first I gotta mix up all the ingredients. So we're starting with these eight ounce packages of sharp cheddar. So I'm going to grate those in my food processor. It also called for a small onion to be grated. I'm not exactly sure what a small onion is. My guess is now there's these big giant onions that you get in the spring. Um, so I would consider that a large onion. This one, which is about the size of my fist, you know, it fits inside my fist. Um, I would say that's like a medium onion. It's the normal white onion that you buy in the stores nowadays. So to make it a small onion, I'm gonna cut about a third of it off and just consider that that's a small onion. So I'll save that third for another recipe. So I'm cutting a third of it off. So I'll put that away. And now I'm going to grate this other third and just put it down in my food processor. And I think I'll go ahead and stick a thing of cheese in here too. Let them grate together at the same time. We'll see how that does. Very quickly. Love food processors. And yeah, I'll finish grating up all this cheese and I'll get back with you. No need you having to watch me do that. Okay, I'm back. I've put the, um, the cheese and the grated onion in the bowl. And now I'm adding some chopped pecans, which I just chopped using my Pampered Chef food chopper, which is great. You just hit it a few licks. I've already hit it about 10, so about 12 licks all together in perfectly chopped pecans. So now I'm going to add in, now that was a cup of pecans chopped, and now I'm adding in two thirds cup of mayonnaise and I just put it in this really cool, again, another Pampered Chef item, but they come in handy. And that's neat because there's no waste. You know, you just use what's right there. It scrapes it all clean. And now I'm going to add in a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and then a dash of cayenne pepper. So just a small amount. There we go. Good enough. A few shakes. And then I'm just going to stir this together until it's really well blended. And then uh, I'll get back with you and show you how I'm putting it into the mold. Okay, I'm back. I've got it all stirred up. It's really thick, so it's hard to stir. You just have to keep working at it until you get it mixed really well. So the next thing I'm going to do, because once I put this in the refrigerator, I won't be able to get it out and show you all the final results. But... What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a little taste test and just show you. So like, pretend this was already in the ring and your guests are serving it. So they cut off a little bit, put it on a cracker. And then in the center of the ring, you place strawberry preserves. So I've got some here. And you just put a little strawberry preserves on the top and then eat that. Mm -hmm. That is so good. The cheese taste, the sweet taste of the preserves, yum. Crunchiness of the pecans. It's gonna be good, y'all. Okay, so now we gotta put it in the cheese ring. So I'm just gonna put it down in here very carefully. I've already sprayed the ring, so Hopefully it won't stick when we try to take it out. But I'm putting it in here and then I'm gonna press it down really good with my spatula. If you've got a really big mold, you might wanna double the recipe, but you might have a small roll uh, uh, mold I actually thought about putting this in my little um, 
bunt, I bought some of those mini bunt cake molds, but I'm gonna be making some mini bunt cakes, so I can't afford to have that pan sitting in my refrigerator for right now, so I had to go with this one. Anyhow, I think this will be fine. It'll all work out. Oh, just drop it down there. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my little spatula. I don't want to miss any of it. I should drop the piece down in the center. There. Okay. Now I'm just going to press this in all the way around. After I get that all pressed, I'm just going to put some saran wrap over it and put it in the refrigerator. And hopefully it will unmold easily on Christmas Day and be a nice appetizer. And it'll look kind of Christmassy with the strawberry preserves in the center of it. You can buy store-bought strawberry preserves. I happen to have some that I made with figs uh, earlier in the year. But if I didn't, I would just buy store-bought strawberry preserves. And there you go. See, it's all smooth. So I think when we dump this out, it'll sit evenly. There you can see, it's all in there. So it's going right in the refrigerator as soon as I put some saran wrap on it. And then we'll move on to the next dish. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey, by the way, be sure to hit subscribe uh, on the YouTube so that you don't miss any of my videos because I put them all out on YouTube. Thanks. Love y'all. Bye-bye.